me become deaf in year 2014 after they infected with a disease known as mumps. The right to communicate with hearing people, it is difficult to me. Because time hearing talking to me, me not understand, same same what, what me tell them, not understood. Therefore, me, time me together with yelling people, I always be quiet. A deaf child for a while has been a child with lonely, a lonely child because the parents, the siblings, the relatives, they're not able to communicate or give them enough time to communicate. And so they are treated, uh, they were treated as children who maybe they were not earned any value to the family. It's a problem and it's out of ignorance of the parents because the parents initially or even currently in Ibere are not aware of the need that their children have uh, to learn as deaf. Sometimes they think that deaf cannot do anything. But other people, you always tell them, becoming a deaf does not mean that you are disabled. Meaning that being a deaf or a disability is not in a variety. We've been looking at the normal child, praying for the normal child to stay well, to live well. But how about this other child now? It's very normal, it's only that he's deaf. I sold the idea to the committee. And then I didn't stop there, we told the bishop. I would not stop there. We called the education fraternity in, of the county. They came in and they thought the idea was brilliant. And then I called the old council now of the Mother's Union. I sold to them and they said, oh, this is a, a good thing. Uh, St. Mary started two years ago, 2014, with five students. And now the school is in form two with 22 students. The Mother's Union in Kenya, when they envisioned uh, having this secondary school for the deaf, invited myself and a couple of colleagues from the UK uh, to support them with architectural design. Um, we've been working with a local architect uh, for advice, as well as with uh, advice from uh, deaf education specialists in Kenya. Um, the way that it's worked is that we've been doing the designs for the buildings, working together with the local architect.
obviously uh, the necessity of deafness has been uh, the priority of the whole design process. Um, so we have very large windows um, to allow extra lighting as well as roof lights to allow diffused lighting. Um, and obviously communication for deafness is key because they use their hands for sign language. You just interlock them, interlock them, then you put the link beam and the columns, then you look the house. So in Makika Blake we are uh, we use little cement. For the locals are very happy for seeing this building come to the uh, area where they are able to get a job and uh, the environment has already changed because these buildings look very magnificent to them they see a miracle from heaven they are very happy and they are they are ready to support it we have said this is a unique center because in upper eastern kenya it is the only high school for the deaf. So we are proud to be a national secondary school for the deaf. It's been a very great experience. It's been fun. It's been like nothing else before. We've learned various things. I've also learned some various sign languages. I've interacted with very, very wonderful people. It's a must. People should actually, I advise people to come and join it because it's the best experience ever. Yeah. To me, it's marvelous. I really like it. <laughs> I've learned so many things. Yeah. Yeah. Sign languages, interacting with people, the devs. Yeah. I'm not, and right now, I've, I'm, I'm seeing no difference between me and them. Yeah. Only that they are not hearing, but. In real sense, I now see them just like my brothers and sisters. The understanding of deafness as a disability is changing because initially some people thought it is a curse, but now they are looking at it as another creation. It's another way of being. And being deaf does not mean one is limited to do other things. It's only the language. So. The, the, there is another way of looking at the deaf child, which to me is positive. And as a church, we look at the deaf child as the same as the others who are hearing, because we are all children of God and should uh, assess our light as persons, as human beings, in the God and even in the society.
Thank you for watching and your interest so far. This project caters for a really big need in the country of Kenya because there are over 300,000 deaf children but only five specialized schools for them. This project aims at putting 200 of them in school so there's a whole lot more to be done. We'd love for you to get involved. Fundraise with us, share your skills, promote the project and stay in touch. Asante Bye. Sana!